Republican Congressman Bill Heisenga is raising concerns about Energy Secretary Granham's work with a China-connected group pushing, yeah, a ban on gas stoves. Congressman Heisenga joins me now. Sir, the Greens are serious. They want to ban all greenhouse gases, and that means gas stoves. They've got to go. Is that the way it is, sir? Uh, it is. Despite their, uh, their protests otherwise, uh, actions speak louder than words. And here's what we know. Going back to the early parts of the Biden administration, they pulled in groups like the Rocky Mountain Institute, uh, who have a very uh, transparent agenda, which is to end all use of fossil fuels. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's the, you know, Richard Trumka sort of said the quiet part out loud uh, back a little bit ago when he was talking about the gas stoves. But you look at all of the applications for gas-fired appliances throughout a house, uh, furnaces, uh, for, certainly for us in the upper Midwest, uh, but it's uh, dryers, it's different things that are in the house, and they're wanting to go after that. And it's just, it, it's unconscionable, frankly. Yes, it is, and impossible in my opinion. Next, a bit more serious here. The FBI director, Christopher Wray, admits that the pandemic was, quote, likely caused by a Chinese lab leak. Watch this, Congressman. Roll tape, please. The FBI has for quite some time now assessed that the origins of the pandemic are most likely a potential lab incident in Wuhan. Here, you're talking about a potential leak from a Chinese government-controlled lab that killed millions of Americans, and that's precisely what that capability uh, was designed for. So, Congressman, that's two agencies, the Energy Department and now the FBI, both suggesting that the lab leak is a possibility at the very least. My question is, how do we hold China accountable? Well, uh, that's, that's the, the right question to be asking. We do need to make sure that that's a determination. But very few people being seriously minded about this uh, had doubts about this, uh, about, about this theory and about the origins of this, other than the mainstream media, which is still trying to, <laughs> trying to downplay all of that. So that really is a question, I think, as we're looking at the China task force and other, uh, other um, efforts here in the House of Representatives and on Capitol Hill, is how do we hold China responsible? Responsible at all levels for all of these various things. And certainly, in my mind, that means we've got to look at what our cooperation is uh, with these joint labs and the funding that goes into that. That has to be on the chopping block. Things are really turning around. I get the, just, I get the, the feeling that we're now uniting against China on all kinds of issues. And that's a good thing. Congressman, thank yeah. you very much for being with us this morning. Busy day for thanks you, I know, too. but thanks for taking time out. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good to be with you.